This video is brought to you by Ridge Wallet, a slim front pocket wallet available in carbon fiber and titanium. With more than 250,000 sold, a lifetime guarantee and free shipping, get 10% off with the code GOLDFISH at RidgeWallet.com. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So as you know, Tuesday means it's Type 2 or Standard Tuesday here in Instant Deck Tech land, but it's also Gigantosaurus Week. Well, actually, M19 Week, but we do have another Gigantosaurus deck somehow. And uh, this deck is pretty sweet. This is Boggle Horse Green, kind of like a boggly deck looking to play a hexproof creature, make it super big and annoying and use it to win the game. It comes to us from Tanner Banana, who took it to a 5-0 finish in a competitive standard league on magic online so congrats to tanner banana on a super sweet deck also before we jump into the deck gotta mention 107 bucks in paper world 39 ticks on magic online so essentially in our budget range so if you're looking for something pretty cheap and unique to try out in standard uh, this might be a deck to keep in mind anyway a quick reminder before we break down boggle horse green for standard if you enjoy this deck and y'all want to see it main to videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week. So, Boggle Horse Green, the name comes from Vine Mare, which is the Boggle Horse, hexproof horse, 4 mana, you get a 5-3, it has hexproof, also randomly hoses black creatures, can't be blocked by black creatures. So the idea of this deck is basically to use Vine Mare and some backup hexproof creatures, Carnage Tyrant, Bristling Hydra, which Carnage Tyrant is just straight up hexproof, a little expensive, but still, it is hexproof, it is big, it's even trampling. Bristling Hydra is kind of like temporary hexproof, we don't have any other energies sources, but we can give it hexproof one time, so it is a way to protect itself, but we're trying to get a hexproof creature on the battlefield and then load it up with branchwood armor. So branchwood armor is this kind of unique enchantment. It is really powerful in a mono green deck because for three mana, it gives enchanted creature plus one plus one for each forest you control. So let's say we play a vine mare on turn four. Turn five, we untap, we put a branchwood armor on it. It's going to be giving the vine mare plus 5 plus 5, which actually makes it a 10-8. A 10-8 hexproof, which is going to be bigger than literally anything in standard that could possibly be on the battlefield on turn 5. Also, randomly getting past black creatures, which is a nice little upside. So I hear you wondering, though. You're probably saying, well, that's great. Sure, you make a big 10-8 Vine Mare. That's awesome. But isn't our opponent just going to chump block it forever? Well, we have a solution for that, too. And Carnage Tyrant kind of fixes this naturally because it has Trample. But we also have Cartoon of strength. So Cartouche of Strength is kind of our removal spell. Comes down, lets the creature we're enchanting fight an opposing creature, which is pretty sweet because we're going to have this massive hexproof creature, so it's very safe to fight and kill something, but it also gives a creature plus one, plus one, and has trample. So if we go Vine Mare on turn four, Blanchwood Armor on turn five, untap on turn six, play Cartouche on it, maybe make another forest land drop along the way, we're just going to have like this 12 power trampling Vine Mare, which is going to close out the game super quickly against pretty much everything in the format. We also have Ronas the Indomitable, which is a good card in our deck because we got a bunch of big creatures, it's cheap, it's efficient, but it's also another way to give trample. So if we don't have Cartouche, we can always just make our Vine Mare huge, our Carnage Tyrant, Bristling Hydra, whatever huge, and then use Ronas to force through more damage with the trampling activated ability. Then we have a little bit of ramp to just speed up the deck. You noticed we got Carnage Tyrants, we got a lot of expensive stuff. Land of War Elves drew it to the Cowl, just help us accelerate into our big plays a little bit quicker. If we can go Vine Mare on turn three and then Branchwood Armor on turn four, that's an even scarier clock compared to slowing down and waiting the extra turn. Otherwise, we have just a couple of big threats. Steel Leaf Champion, Gigantosaurus, not great targets for Blanchwood Armor because they do get blown out by Veroska's Contempt and other removal like that. But since we got this ramp and we're playing all green sources, these are just way above the curve creatures. A three man 
mana 5-4 that gets past small creatures. Really, really solid stats. Coming down as soon as turn 2 with Lana Elves. Gigantosaurus, we can play this as early as turn 3 with our best draws. And it's a 10-10 for 5 mana. So just big, huge creatures to hopefully close out the game quickly. We can even trample them up with our Cartouche, with our Rona. So just big threats to close out the game. Otherwise, Blossoming Defense gives us a little bit more protection for our non-hexproof creatures. For our Gigantosaurus's our Steel Leaf Champions and the like. As far as the mana base, as simple as it gets. 24 Forest, we need all Forest to pump our Blanchwood Armor as big as possible. In the sideboard, for control, we have Prowling Sepper Pard, so we're not getting countered by removal. Also, the Carnage Tyrant in the main deck helps. Shaper's Sanctuary to fight through endless removal. And then for aggro, we get some Life Gain and Gift of Paradise, a weird sideboard card for aggro, but it does gain three life. Arborback Stomper, Big Body, Life Gain, Ripjaw Wrapper, Good blocker, hard to attack through because it's drawing us cards with Enrage. Naturalize for artifacts and enchantments. And that is Boggle Horse Green by Tanner Bananer for M19 Standard. And that is our M19 Week Instant Deck Tech for today. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.